Martin Sandberg, better known as Max Martin, was born in Stockholm, Sweden, 1971. Growing up with Kiss posters on his walls, he went on to become one of the most gifted songwriters of modern times and the most successful in pop history, together with Polar Music Laureate Paul McCartney and John Lennon. His heavy metal band, It's Alive, signed with the record label Sharon, where he met producer and his later mentor, Dennis Pop. My name is Dennis Pop. This here is Max Martin. Alltså jag spelade i ett band, sjöng i ett rockband uh, och, och det var ju, min identitet låg ju väldigt mycket i det. Så för mig att komma till en, en värld där studion var i centrum och, och låtar och framförallt hamna bland likasinnade som jobbade dygnet runt och som var helt dedikerade till det. Men just att låten var i centrum hela tiden var, var också någonting som var så här, åh, oh, ge mig det här, det här är fantastiskt. Att kunna liksom lukta på att man faktiskt kanske någon gång kunde få göra någonting som kom ut på skiva var ju helt fantastiskt. And he went on to do just that. In 1998, Max Martin released his first hit single that reached the top of the billboard, Baby One More Time, with Britney Spears. Max is great in the studio. He's he's a perfectionist, which I totally respect, and I look up to that. So being with him is kind of hard because I'm always scared that I may do something wrong. So, um, you know, I have to pull out my goods when I work with him. But he's a lot of fun to work with. He's an amazing person and um, very, very talented. The cool thing about Max is that he's he's the most obsessed with music, and that's it. Like, there's no other thing that's in the room with you. Like, there are no politics, and there's no money, and there's no anything other than like he just loves to make music. He is um, extremely detailed when it comes to vocals. It's nice to be better than him at something. <laughs> So I can bring the singing, although he's not bad. Also, en grej som jag har kanske haft mest nytta av allting i det här jobbet från dag ett är ju min bakgrund som sångare. Also, att kunna sjunga och visa av sin vision. Alltså även när man spelar in en demo om man nu gör det, är ju, har ju varit helt avgörande tycker jag. First thing I learned about Max as a singer was this thing. This freaking <laughs> hand. hand. This hand, like, there was a certain rhythm that you had that, that Max heard. And it was, if you were singing it like off or you were singing in your own rhythm in your own way. It was always on top. Of yeah, me. Max would say, no, 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 do it again. Right ask, here, ask, right ask, here. Ask. I think Max hears the vocals like an instrument, you know? Um, and I think that's how, that's how you should treat it. He is very specific when it comes to vocals and a bit of a task master. You know, I'll, I'll have to do it sometimes. Uh, more than I think that I think we we have it and he'll just get me into a place where I'm I'm singing from the heart I'm not in my head about it Det är ju hela grejen är hur artisten sjunger låten det är ju det är liksom det är det som är det viktigaste egentligen förutom låten Sometimes a song becomes more than just a song Kan man påverka på något sätt alltså Populärkulturen, att kanske stöta till den lite grann, alltså när den så att säga blir mer än en låt, är alltid, det är liksom min, det är den största grejen för mig. Something that really moved Max Martin was when the children at Children's Hospital in Dartmouth Hitchcock made their own music video of Katy Perry's Roar. Vad gör vi egentligen? Tre och en halv minuters ljud, liksom. När det finns folk som försöker lösa cancerfrågan och Jobba för jämställdhet och Syrien, flykt, allt det här liksom. Så ibland kanske jag känner så här, alltså, är det vi gör? Du vet, 
Uh, och sen så kan jag, men å andra sidan då, när en sån här grej händer då, så kan jag också bli väldigt glad över att ja, det finns ett liv utanför den här lilla studien också. Den här musiken, de här artisterna framförallt, tar det här till, 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 till människorna. Och, uh, och det är väl det som jag tycker är så fantastiskt med musik, att det kan nå så otroligt många. The Polar Music Prize 2016 is awarded to songwriter Martin Sandberg from Stockholm, Sweden, who writes under the name Max Martin. Melodies are like time capsules. Melodies define their time and are spread from person to person, across borders and across generations. In the last 20 years, no composer in the world has written melodies as sustainable or as widespread as those of Max Martin. Right now, at this very moment, someone somewhere in the world will be singing a hit song written and produced by Max Martin. With his ear for song melodies, his musical precision and craftsmanship, he has refined and developed the world's popular music. Congratulations, Max Martin, on your award. I think you're a genius. You blow my mind, and I'm super proud of you. I love you so much. Congratulations. You're the best. I mean, there's not a, another person on the planet that is more deserving than, than Max Martin. We love you, brother. Max, congratulations on receiving the Polar Music Prize. Uh, no one deserves it more. You are a master. Take us to the promised land. <laughs> Tack så mycket. Det är en stor ära. Vi ses i Stockholm i juni.